in the 50s, he started buying land there. He bought land from Pete McIntyre, who uh, was uh, a, a Texas moonshiner who ran basically a gas station out in the desert. And Prim, here in Gardena, carried this fantasy on for years. He had a, 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 a design on his wall and a model that was described looking kind of like a doll's house, just a, uh, an architect's model of, of what the club was going to look like in the desert. And Vegas existed at this time, but everybody still thought being that far, you know, nearly an hour south of Vegas was crazy that you would want to put this casino in the desert. Who's going to want to go there? And he would drive out there with Blaine Nicholson, his public relations man and partner, and he would, he would look at that barren desert plot of land and he would say, what in the world am I going to do with this? And it was his vision. And uh, a little known fact about Prim was that 